you guys my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel you guys in today's video I will be sharing with you all of my kindergarten must-haves if any of you guys are new here to my channel again my name is Brittany I'm a homeschooling mom to three girls and I just completed my fourth year of homeschool so you guys this is actually my first time starting off one of my kiddos from the very beginning in our homeschooling journey when I started off homeschooling my oldest she was in the third grade so this is my first time really truly teaching a kindergartner and I will say I am so happy and thrilled with the success that we had this homeschooling year however I really wish that I had most of these resources that I'm going to share with you guys in the beginning of our homeschooling year I really hope that if any of you guys are starting off any of your kiddos from the very beginning with kindergarten that some of these resources and my must-haves that I'm sharing in today's video will really help and aid in a successful uh, first year of homeschooling your kindergartner so um, I have have so much stuff all around me and I cannot wait to share all the little titty bitty things that I really appreciated having in our homeschool for our kindergarten year so a lot of these things you guys I found at the Dollar Tree um, a lot of these things are very affordable items so it's no break in the bank I definitely will let you know I'm gonna try my best to link as many things as I can uh, down the bottom in my description box uh, but I definitely will encourage you guys to check out your local stores and find things on sale uh, don't break the bank uh, you don't need all of these things but these are just must-haves that I really appreciated using this homeschooling year so you guys my first must-have in my homeschool was definitely uh, stickers and incentives. I went to the Dollar Tree, you guys, and I will always just grab a whole bunch of stickers because at the end of my kindergartner and my pre kers day, uh, putting a sticker on their paper was like gold for them uh, in knowing that they completed a successful homeschooling day. They love putting a sticker on their um, paper and they also love putting a sticker on their shirt. It was like their badge of honor saying, I did school, I did a good job. And you guys, like, I do not know what my kiddos obsession is with stickers but they love them so much I have a whole drawer full of stickers because every single time I was just at the Dollar Tree or just wherever and I seen new different types of stickers that I know that they will enjoy I would just stock up all of my family members know that all of my kiddos love stickers so they would bring stickers over for me uh, to uh, help out with like my homeschooling uh, reward drawer and I just don't know what it was about stickers but it definitely was the key to success in our homeschooling days. Um, as far as incentive goes too, I also did reward my kiddos um, at the end of two weeks if they did really, really good in school. I would take them to the Dollar Tree and I would let them pick out two small trinket toys and that was like their treasure box I should say. Now I do feel like it does come to a point in time where uh, the kiddos you know they just got to get their work done and uh, it's not necessarily going to be a reward or a piece of candy for getting your work done you just have to do it. But I feel like at these younger ages having that incentive for my younger two it definitely motivated them to do their schoolwork. It motivated them to do other things things around the house like pick up their toys and do their chores and uh, just different things like that uh, that little incentive or reward was really goal in my homeschool and I definitely think I will carry it forward uh, this upcoming homeschool year because it just worked out so uh, stickers incentives was a must-have in my homeschool the second thing I'm going to go into is like all of the different things that helped me in assisting my um, daughter how to write in penmanship. So the first thing I definitely will say, I definitely enjoyed these uh, Tyker, Tyker, Tyker Krondoroga pencils. I don't know how to pronounce them, you guys, but... These were the pencils that I used for my uh, kindergartner and I used these pencil grips where, you know, they put their finger in like this to really help aid in having their hand in the right formation in writing. So these pencil grippers, they come in a whole bunch of different colors and I got them off of Amazon. So this is what I use for my kindergartner. Now for my pre-K four, she's a lefty and what I used for her was these first pencils right here they're really really short and they are triangular so they really helped her be able to grip her pencil really really good and have those alligator fingers uh, and now she is transitioning into this type of pencil and having that right penmanship formation really helped aid in my both of my daughters really being able to write effectively so um, I definitely really enjoyed the pencil grippers and uh, these uh, beginning pencils for my youngest daughter who's four 
before. So uh, definitely these were must haves in my homeschool, having the proper tools and teaching them penmanship. Another thing that I used a lot was, of course, dry erase leaves and dry erase markers. Um, anytime I wanted them to practice things like their uh, writing their first and last name, uh, practicing uh, like numbers, different letters that they may be struggling with, I always would just use my dry erase sleeve with a dry erase marker. These definitely came in handy. I got a big pack off of Amazon, but you can find these anywhere. The Dollar Tree has these uh, dry erase sleeves, and especially during the back to school time, like in the Target section, they will have these for only a buck two. You don't need that many. You can just put in whatever sheet you need for that day. And I really enjoyed these dry erase sleeves. So um, that was something that really helped me in helping my kiddos when it came time to like uh, doing different letters and numbers as far as like repetition. So I didn't have to keep on like printing off a sheet over and over again. Now, something else that I really enjoyed for penmanship was my Handwriting Without Tears chalkboard. Um, this actually comes along with the Handwriting Without Tears curricula, and it teaches you in the Handwriting uh, Without Tears book how to properly teach the kiddos their strokes, how to start off right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a big smiley face, but how to start off at the top corner and go all the way down. Uh, you also use these little sponges and you use uh, chalk. So this really helped my kiddos in practicing uh, their letters when it came to uh, handwriting without tears. I used this primarily with my four-year-old this year. I didn't really use it much with my uh, kindergartner because uh, she already did the first green handwriting without tears book last year. So we were really just solidifying her uh, letter formation and working on her lower cases uh, letters as far as her. But definitely for my pre-K four, she definitely utilized the chalkboard, the um, sponge and the chalk in our homeschool in helping her learn how to write all of her capital letters and her numbers. Now, something else when it came to penmanship that really helped me out was my kindergartner was struggling with remembering how to write her numbers. And um, I was doing things like, again, just having my uh, numbers. These are all the numbers she would practice with my Kindergarten Math with Confidence uh, Black Line Masters. We would just write out our numbers every single day, but I was finding that it wasn't sticking and solidifying with her. So I went online and I found these uh, rhymes from teachingmama.org. And it's different rhymes to teach the kiddos how to remember how to write their letters. So this is the zero. You'll say, around and around we go. When we get back home, we have a zero. And you just work on that with them. And each number has a cute little rhyme. And after a while, the kiddos will learn these rhymes. And when it comes time for them to write a number, you can just say the rhymes. Like, here goes the one for number two. It says, around and around, oh, around and back on the railroad track, two, two. So they really love that one. Um, one of my uh, oldest daughter, her favorites was uh, this one right here, which was the number seven, across the sky and down from heaven. That's how we make the number seven. So it's just so crazy how these cute little rhymes really help them remember how to uh, write their numbers. And once uh, my daughter memorized the rhymes, it was so easy for her to remember, okay, we're writing a number nine. And then she would say like the rhyme. This is another cute one. It says, uh, make a loop and then a line. That's how we make the number nine. So, um, really, really cute. And again, these ones came from teachingmama.org. It's a free printable. So, um, I would go over these, uh, rhymes with her and you guys, I kid you not, after a whole semester of her forgetting how to write her numbers, they were solidified in like two weeks. And I taught my, uh, four-year-old how to write all of her numbers in three weeks by using these rhymes. So, um, it definitely really aided, uh, in my daughter learning how to do all of her, uh, numbers and remembering the correct formation in writing them so those are all of like the things that in categories as far as like penmanship uh, that I utilized and that was must-haves in my homeschool another thing you guys is just plain old dry erase boards these were just so beneficial in my homeschool I even have these cute little uh, dry erase erasers that they were used these came from the Dollar Tree and I ordered a pack of these little erasers from Amazon and I really love utilizing dry erase boards just uh, for a variety of activities um, just these were definitely must-haves in my homeschool if I wanted to take our homeschool um, out of our homeschool room downstairs outside these were just great little to go dry erase boards so now we're going to go ahead and go into my math must-haves 
first and foremost you guys you already know when it comes to kindergarten you definitely need manipulatives when it comes to math our main curricula we used uh, this year for math for my kindergartner was a uh, kindergarten math with confidence and we also use Matthew C primer so for kindergarten math with confidence the main manipulatives we used were these uh, linking cubes these math linking cubes from uh, Amazon and I love them they come in a whole bunch of different like colors you can like click them and pull them apart and they were just so easy to use because when we were working on different um i guess uh skills within math with confidence they will have us using two different colors so i really liked having all of these different color linking blocks and i just keep them in my little uh, mesh bags right here and i really really enjoyed these these were definitely like my go-to math manipulatives when it came to kindergarten math with confidence now as far as math you see of course you guys i absolutely love the math you see blocks I know a lot of people that just uses the blocks even without the curriculum. Um, sometimes I will even uh, shake it up and use these same math you see blocks when we were doing our kindergarten math with confidence with my kindergartner. And I just love having a variety of manipulatives, but these math you see ones and my Lincoln blocks were my uh, two must haves when it came to like my math uh, resources for them. Along with that, I also utilized a lot this year my uh, pattern blocks. This actually was a birthday gift someone got uh, my middle daughter for her birthday a few years ago, and I'm so happy I have it. I used a lot of the pattern blocks within our Math with Confidence, and of course my um, four-year-old, she actually did the actual little uh, patterns uh, because she was able to actually do it this year. So definitely a two-for-one. I was able to use this both for my pre-K four and my kindergartner this year. Definitely a must-have have used these a lot in uh, preschooling maths or pre not preschooling but preschooling and kindergarten math you use these uh, pattern blocks a lot and this is the Melissa and Doug set you can definitely find uh, these pattern blocks again anywhere but I really enjoyed having also the little puzzle piece too along with it uh, with different uh, activities for my youngest daughter to do now another must-have I have are these fun number poppets and you guys my kiddos absolutely love using these poppets when we were going over counting, skip counting, counting by twos, counting by fives, counting by tens. Uh, we started counting to 20, then 30, then 50, then 100. And they just love, you know, popping each little poppet as we went over each of the numbers. And they really, really enjoyed these. And I got this two pack right here from Amazon. And you guys, like it really took our, you know, regular counting a uh, one to a hundred up a scale definitely with these cute little poppets and I really really enjoyed them in my homeschool so this is definitely another cute resource that I use when it came to math now we're going to go into all the uh, extra resources that I use for uh, my daughter's phonics instructions and things that really helped aid us in our reading. First and foremost, um, I use my another dry erase board with all of my uh, magnetic tiles from All About Reading. I really, really um, enjoy, again, having these more portable dry erase boards because we can kind of like take our reading instruction anywhere. I really loved using these magnetic tiles, but sometimes you guys I like to shake it up and what I would do is I would use my other magnetic letters that I have and these are just like the bigger letters so all of your vowels are in red and then all of your consonants are in uh, blue and I really loved using these ones right here to kind of shake up our lessons and my uh, kindergartner she absolutely loved these ones as well um, these definitely I would say if you are doing a program like all about reading that already has the letters you really don't need need these but this is just something fun and extra to have to enhance your lessons to shake it up for the kiddos uh, so they're not so they can kind of change up uh, your mundane routine and using different things uh, you will be surprised how changing up your letter tiles will really shake up your reading and phonics lessons so I really enjoyed having two sets of letter tiles to use Something else that really helped us was when my daughter began to read her uh, short readers within her all about uh, reading curricula were these uh, viewfinders that I found at the Dollar Tree. I came in a pack of 10 and some of the viewfinders are uh, blue, some of them are yellow and they have different patterns and designs like this one has like unicorn, this one has space on it and this one's just like a rainbow on it. So having her use this viewfinder to guide her as she was reading each of her words on either the 
fluency sheets or in her little readers. These really helped her retain and uh, stay focused on what she was reading. And uh, she loved these little viewfinders. And I cannot believe I found a 10 pack at the Dollar Tree, you guys. Um, I definitely know you can find uh, these anywhere, but these were definitely helpful in keeping her focused and really figuring out what work she was reading, not to get confused off of the sheet and kind of get distracted by the pictures. I really enjoyed using these viewfinders. Some of my uh, other favorite resources that I did use was I had this box of sight words that I actually use with my oldest daughter, you guys. It's so crazy um, that I still saved these uh, set boxes. I have these in levels one to three. So what I would do is when my daughter would uh, get the words fluent in the uh, all about reading, what I would do is I would pull out all of the words that she was already fluent with and I would lay these out on the floor just randomly and I will give her use my little pointer sticks which again are my must-haves in my homeschool for kindergarten and I will uh, lay these out on the floor so she can just do quick fluency drills with the words she already mastered. Something about having it in a different form and this black and white letters really shook it up for her and uh, again these are all of the same uh, fluency words from All About Reading, uh, the curricula that she already uh, mastered but I just had it in a different form. What was really cool about these is that they also come along with a cute little sentence that helps them remember the words so I just wanted these words to just be really really fast for her and I just wanted to shake it up for different games and that's how I utilize these uh, sight word uh, boxes that I already have and again I just love the contrast I love how big they are and they're black and white so these were another uh, tools and fun ways for me to help her become fluent with those high frequency words Another one of my favorites, you guys, I talk about these all the time, is my Bob books. I really love these books because sometimes we were unable to do a story out of our All About Reading lesson, but I still wanted her to read some type of story to me every single day. And we would pull out these Bob books and my daughter absolutely loved these. I mean, these Bob books, you guys, they're like so old school and it's, you know, it's nothing really like particularly jazzy about them. I mean, they just are like simple little stories they're black and white some of them have like purple or blue but she really got a kick out of these stories and I think it was like the sense of accomplishment for her to be able to read a full story and for her to know she could do it and um, I really loved her sense of accomplishment when she finished reading these Bob books and it really um, I guess aided in our uh, reading instruction and again these books are so affordable and I'm so happy I had additional readers outside of our all about reading curricula for her to read and practice on those fluency things so that's definitely like all of my, my uh, phonics and reading must-haves in my homeschool for kindergarten I really really enjoyed having them now as far as calendar time you guys goes I actually purchased a really really cute calendar from Amazon that I use for my calendar time and uh, my kiddos love when we went over like the days of the week the months of the year and I really enjoyed using like our calendar uh, it really uh, was just fun you guys uh, to count off the days of the week and different things like that I also have other posters that I got from Amazon as far as teaching them uh, the months of the year um, I went ahead and I just clipped it on this like little uh uh, I guess key ring hole and I just keep these out and I flip them instead of keeping them on my wall so they can be more portable I just put them on this key ring and I would just go over you know the months of the year this is the days of the week I will go over the seasons with them and then I will also go over I begin going over simple geography uh, so they can learn just their continents and then of course I had my big number chart but to really be honest like I said before this was their favorite way in counting but I also had another little chart and I just love these big postal boards it's something about a postal board and these pointer sticks that really gets the kiddos engaged and uh, I really enjoyed having these so uh, this is the things that I would use as far as like my morning and calendar time uh, you really don't need these uh, big old poster boards and things like that but my kiddos just really really enjoyed them 
I also utilize the um, morning folders from Gentle and Classical Press, the kindergarten and the preschool folder. But to really be honest, they enjoy these bigger poster boards way better than the uh, morning binders from Gentle and Classical Press. So these were just like my must haves for my calendar time for my kindergartner. Um, I definitely will say you do not need like a big old calendar like I have. Something else that you can do for your kiddos that's really, really affordable is to go to the Dollar Tree or go anywhere and get like just a regular old school 12 month calendar and just have your kiddos go over the calendar each day mark off the days put stickers on them go over the days of the week this is just a very affordable way to do calendar time in your homeschool and uh, you don't have to have like all the big you know frills as far as like my big calendar this is just as effective and you guys sometimes my uh, kindergartner would prefer to use her calendar that I have in her room and mark off the day Days and do her calendar time that way instead of actually using the bigger uh, poster boards and resources we have in our homeschool room so I definitely will say you do not need all of like the things when it comes to calendar time you can definitely just get a simple dollar calendar and just work over those days of the weeks counting the days uh, what today's date is just simple things like this so I definitely really really enjoyed our calendar time with my kiddos now, my last few must-haves definitely are, you guys already know I'm going to share these, are my Kumon books. I love these uh, books. These littler ones I use with my four-year-old and then these ones right here, the bigger ones I use with my um, my kindergartner. Um, I just love these cutting books. This is also my uh, Melissa and Doug scissor skills. These are just fun little morning starters that I was just able to pull out, put their scissors on the table, get them kickstarted while I was getting my oldest daughter set up in our homeschooling room before I began working with them. These are definitely very, very affordable and I love having these Kumon books. They're definitely my favorite. So I love utilizing those as far as scissor skills. Something else that I loved in my uh, homeschool and I use so often was because my uh, younger daughters, they absolutely love coloring. So I will always go to my Dollar Tree and get coloring books. They love LOL Dolls and Gabby House and having these like coloring books as far as like morning starters was definitely goal in my homeschool and you guys, for a buck this definitely was worth it so um i love using uh coloring uh instead of giving my kiddos like uh, i guess busy work in between working with them i would give them a coloring book and um crayons and that will actually keep one of my kiddos uh, occupied while i was working with the other as far as my two littles so this definitely was a great i guess um i would say kind of like busy work for them the last thing that I used so much in my homeschool this year was puzzles. And again, um, you guys, I love using puzzles really for like that logic and critical thinking. This really kept their hands busy again when I was trading off with between my kindergartner and my pre-K four. Um, puzzles was just a must have. And I love that it was just a fun, quiet activity that, that they can do. It kept their brain fresh. And um Again, these are Gabby puzzles because my kiddos, they're obsessed right now with Gabby and LOL dolls. So I really enjoyed uh, having puzzles in my homeschool. So you guys, these are like all of like my kindergarten must-haves and all of the things that really just got me through all of my days. Um, again, I really feel like you don't need all of these things, but definitely in your homeschool, do not be afraid to shake it up, change your resources and use different things that's really going to motivate your kindergartner to come to the table and do their schoolwork and keep it fun and fresh for them. These resources really did that for me this homeschooling year and I'm definitely definitely going to continue to use these things with my rising kindergartner uh, this upcoming homeschool year and uh, continue to use these things in aiding me with math, reading, and writing. So you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And as always, I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.